Hi friends, I am Dr. Prableen, working as a consultant at Ridge IVF. Today we will discuss about a rare condition but an important cause of female infertility which is called hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. If a patient present to us with a history of amenorrhea, it can be a primary amenorrhea since the starting of menarche she must not be having her periods or it can be a secondary amenorrhea in which the periods must be started at menarche but stop due to any infection, any tumor, any radio chemotherapy. So patient comes to us for conceiving. In this condition, the brain is not producing FSH LH. So, so the end organs like ovary and uterus are deprived of FSH LH stimulation and hence they are not working. Though the anatomical and uh, character of the ovary and uterus is normal, there is no defect anatomically in these organs. But since they are not getting any signal from the brain of FSH LH, they are not working and functioning. So once we uh, supplement FSH LH from outside, like we give external injections of FSH LH to these patients, they can very well respond, the function of ovaries can come back and they can ovulate. So the treatment of hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, we cannot give over oral drugs like clomiphene and letrozole because the patients won't ovulate with that. We have to give FSH LH from outside. There can be recombinant injection of FSH LH, there can be HMG and we have to uh, like give injections daily. Some, uh, some patients respond later, like the days of stimulation can be uh, increased but a response definitely comes in these patients and they can conceive by natural means or IUI also. If uh, we have to give a higher dose of FSH H, uh, and LH, in some patients we have seen that the response is like a hyperstimulation type. In these patients, uh, either we counsel them for an IVF or they themselves off for an IVF uh, to conceive.